All right. So we have developed an app. We have launched it on the App Exchange Marketplace. Now let's talk about managing our app and managing our customers. Let's talk about licenses, our licenses. So we've built a solution. Let's license it. So what kind of license? the Salesforce offers to their partners. So there are two different app exchange uh, partner types. The first is app exchange partners develop ISV4 solutions that run on the Salesforce platform. So this is the keyword. The first one is it runs on the Salesforce platform. So this is what we are doing right and what we are going to talk about and the second one is OEM partners embed the Salesforce platform in their own specialized solutions to sell to customers outside of Salesforce so for example zone.io is creating our own solution and we are using Salesforce platform in our solution. Okay, so when our customers say Zone.io customers uses the solution, they don't even have to have a Salesforce platform, right? So Salesforce is invisible. So we are not going to talk about this. We are going to talk about this as we are uh, uh, talking about app exchange development. All right, so let's move on. When you hear about licensing at Salesforce, it can mean any of these things. The one that we talk about, ISV Force and OEM solutions, both come with user licenses that grant access to the managed package their creator distributes. OEM solutions also embed a Salesforce platform license with each managed package license. So the Salesforce platform license, meaning the Salesforce user license, is embedded on the OEM. So we are not going to talk about this, right? So right now, don't even think about that. When you sign your Salesforce partner agreement, you license the use of Salesforce technology for your business. That license arrangement affects how you license your products to your customers. But it's a separate agreement between you and Salesforce, okay? All right, so let's move on. Let's explore licensing options. You can do per user license, right? So if, for example, your customer have 50 user and you can issue per user license. You create an app and then this app can only be used by five users. If they need more than five users to use it, they can buy additional user or a package of five or however you want to sell it. That is per user license. That's pretty obvious, right? Site license is a site-wide license. It doesn't matter if they have five users, 10, 1,000 users. It's everybody can use the app you develop. That's the site-wide license, okay? And then we can also offer free trials and time limits like 30-day free trials and so on and so forth. Also, we can um, offer an absolutely free solutions, totally free, right? It's time to sow, right? So I also want to encourage you as an app developer to create free solutions first, especially when you are initially starting out your app exchange career. Sow some seed to the community, create a useful app, make it app absolutely free no strings attached and distribute it on the app exchange so anybody can use it for free then you can develop further more complex more in-depth solution that is 
paid and you can use the site licenses or per user licenses but if you sow first sow your seed sow your talent sow your time to the community then when you create another app that is uh, a more premium app more uh, in-depth more robust more features you can or you can offer the paid solutions okay so to be able to be eligible to offer free solution it has to be absolutely free that's the agreement with, between us and salesforce you can't say oh it's a free app but you have to to actually be a paid customer of your services outside of salesforce then that's not actually free that is not a free solution okay make sure the the you you follow the legal term there you cannot uh, fake a free solution well the app is free but they have to be to be subscribed to your service outside of salesforce well that's not free right so it has to be absolutely free to be eligible for a free solution or a or a free um license okay so manage new features you can also manage new features um, as we see how you can do it from the trail here manage your features meaning you can create an app and you have additional features your customers can buy just like salesforce right you have salesforce and you have a, a ton of additional features that we can add to right you can do that as well we can do that as well so we can we can um, have offering additional functions to our apps additional features and then our customers can decide if they want it or they need it how much they would need to pay more so you can manage new features from there and it's a pretty cool feature and then customer support life cycle we are going to discuss about that on here as well um, we will see how we can actually support our customer even logging in to their org when they need support and yeah and and make them happy and make sure all our services are supported 100 percent so we won't be leaving the customers in the dark after they have decided to use our app all right let's do the quiz now when you enter into a licensing agreement with Salesforce, right, your customers are subject to the licensing terms of your Salesforce partner agreement. Your Salesforce partner agreement determines the options available to you in licensing your customers. Not really. Your grant, you are granted permission to use the salesforce platform in the way you find most effective for reaching your customers yes salesforce handles the licensing for your customers based on no we are doing it our own in a per user license how are seats distributed to users in a customer org on a first come first serve basis automatically using a clever hashing algorithm by an admin in that org automatically with additional seats as with additional seats added as needed for the org right you can add that from from our end so yeah that's right in which stage of the customer support life cycle do you consider your customer overall experience with your app in which stage of the customer support life cycle do you consider your customers overall experience with your app i would think overall customer success planning yeah let's see how we do Woo! we have two mistakes <laughs> okay let's fix this when you enter into a licensing agreement with salesforce Salesforce handle the licensing for your customers based on your terms handle. Salesforce partner agreement determines the options available. Your customers are subject to the licensing terms of your Salesforce partner agreement. Maybe the A, right? Okay, I'm not very legal 
verse, you know, in a per user license, how are seats distributed to users? Oh, to users, the admin did it. Of course, my bad. Boom. Oops. Wrong. So, oh my. All right, 25 points. So, I'll see you on the next trail. We missed a lot of um, legal stuff there. Make sure you pay attention to that. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.